Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to put together your photo quilts. So you can see I have a 9 inch by 9 inch document here and I've divided it into 3 inch squares. So to do that, um, you're just going to go to view, new guide, and then you're going to put in 3 inches horizontal. You're going to hit OK and then you'll do that again and put in 6 inches horizontal. Hit OK. So there's my 3 inches, 6 inches. Then I would do that again. So view, new guide, and this time I would click on vertical, put in 3 inches, so right here, and hit OK. And then do that again. View, new guide, vertical, 6 inches and then hit OK. If you've done all of that, oh, I just had it on zero inches, so <laughs> let me walk that back. Um, if, but if you've done all of that, you'll have a perfectly divided uh, square. It's kind of like a tic-tac-toe board right now. So once you get to this point, we can start placing in the images that you've shot. Now, I'm just using images off the internet. Again, you should have shot your own um, trying to find some interesting images that highlight those art elements of texture and line and shape and color. So I'm going to go ahead and place my image in and you're going to do the same thing by going to File, Place Embedded, find your image. You probably won't see this pop up so it'll just probably go ahead and open like this. If you do see that pop up you can just hit OK or open and you should you know, open it straight up into Photoshop. Now you can scale uh, these photos up or down, but when you're doing that, make sure you're holding the shift key and always pulling from the corner. Otherwise, you're gonna lose proportion and we still wanna keep proportion even if we're enlarging or decreasing the size on these. So I'm gonna hit return here. Now you can also rotate these. Now, make sure to, in order to do this step, you have to have Show Transform Controls checked up here, and it's also very useful to not have Auto Select Layer checked, so do not have that checked, but do have Show Transform Controls. Um, we can rotate this if necessary, so it doesn't necessarily have to be perfectly, um, you know, the way that it would typically be when you're looking at it. Um, and when you're rotating, also hold down the shift key and you'll make sure that you get um, a perfect 90 degree angle when you, when you rotate it. Okay, so I'm going to position this so I can get my first crop here. There we go. And I'm really looking at just this square. I'm trying to find something that's going to lead the eye into the composition, has some interesting textures, interesting colors, and that I like. So I really like this square right now. I'm gonna go in with my marquee tool, which is the second tool down. Make sure that it's the rectangular marquee tool. And I'm going to hover right outside of my document here, hold the shift key down and click and drag until I get three inches by three inches. Now notice, did you see how that kind of popped over to those guides? The reason that did that is because I currently have my snap checked and I, make, and I make sure too that I have guides checked when it says snap to. So if you don't have that, go ahead and do that so that you can have this perfect selection when you go ahead and make that. All right, so when you've made that, we are going to go ahead and mask that selection. So to do that, we're gonna click on the little thing that looks like a Japanese flag. And then as long as that is perfectly masked, you have three inch by three inch and you like the way that looks, then we're going to go ahead and right click on this and convert it to a smart object. Why are we doing that? Well, if we convert it to the smart object, notice that our mask goes away. And now if we were to go in and we were to move this, it's going to snap because we have that snap to guides checked. It's going to snap right into these different parts. So if I wanted to move this around later, I could. Um, and I'm not going to have to worry about the overall picture snapping into those guides and not aligning with the crop that I've made. So um, the bottom line is you don't really need to know that fact, but it is um, helpful when you're kind of moving these things around if you need to later. So we're just going to keep repeating this process. So I'm going to go File, Place Embedded, and I'm going to find another image now. There we go. Now with each of these that you're putting in, I want you to think about kind of, again, the textures and the forms and the colors. I also want you to pay really close attention 
to um, how you're selecting these. So if let's say I want this kind of mountain part here to be in the center square. If I go into my marquee tool again, I want to kind of zoom in so that I make sure that my starting point when I create that selection is right dead center in between those where those guides are intersecting. So if I center it here, hold my shift key down, click and drag, I want to check that little pop-up box next to my cursor to make sure it says three inches by three inches. If it does not say that, then I need to make the selection again because I need to make sure that every single square measures the same so we don't need see any extra white space or anything like that. So once I have this selected, again, I'm going to mask it. That's a little Japanese flag down here. And then I can control click and convert to smart object. Now, if I wanted to, if I say, oh, I don't really like that here in the center, or maybe I want to rotate that, I can hold my shift key down and rotate that. And I'm not going to have the problem of this uh, snapping into the guides in a weird way. It'll snap in just perfectly. So there we go. So this is basically it. You're going to repeat this process again and again and again until you have all nine squares filled up. Um, and then once you have that, you really want to look at your overall composition to make sure that it really works well together. Um, so if you need to mix up the images that you're using, you can. If you want to use the same image over again a couple of times with different crops, you can do that as well too. So be creative with this, have some fun, and I look forward to seeing what you guys end up with. All right, good luck.